Hey guys, today we have a request to do a Spitfire. This is a Spitfire plane from World War II, and this was requested for Mr. Bo, and um, so he doesn't know, but now he knows if he clicks on here to find out this is for him. And I guess he's, they were particular, it had to be this kind of plane. So, we're gonna get started. We're gonna do it the whole body. So we're gonna do the whole body. It kinda has a slight bow across the top, so we're gonna go across the top, slight, slight bow, and then it's gonna come around and then bring it back. And at the end here, we're gonna make it go up and over. So there we have the base of the plane. So on the front part here, we're gonna erase that front because we wanna put a flat. It's gonna be flat right here. So make that flat and then now we're gonna do its point, which has a propeller like a triangle. So we've got a nice little triangle front and the propellers are coming off of it. So we have four of them. And in the picture that was sent to me, I'm sure they were just moving so fast you couldn't see them, but I could see them in the image. And if you want to make it kind of look, I don't know, you can just make little lines in here. No, you know what? We are not putting those lines in. I like it better like that. So we're just gonna leave it like that. All right, so now we are gonna do the wingspan. It's just one long piece. So it's almost gonna be like a giant pickle. That's what we're gonna call it, a giant pickle. Okay, we've got a pickle. And we are going to erase these lines in here because we don't need those anymore. But they work well for us when doing it and we don't need this line because it's going to be connected so when you see it here it's actually smooth right there so you can connect it like that all right something i have learned about the spitfire the spitfire was the most famous fighter aircraft in world war ii there you go all right so now let's do the tail end here so he's got this piece here, and then there is this piece. So we're gonna race in there. So Bo, I think is only four years old, so it's gonna be a while before he's gonna be fully drawing these, but um, hopefully when he gets older, he will be like, I got this. I got this. And then on this back end, we're gonna do two stripes, of course, the real Spitfire has a lot going on. There's more like writing and stuff, but we try to simplify it a little bit. And then on this back end, there is circles. So we're gonna start with a smallest circle. Then you're gonna do slightly around the bigger one. Then you're going to do a bigger one. Circles are kind of hard. Look at that. That is the lumpiest circle you have ever seen. A little lumpy. All right, so now we are going to do the little, is that a cockpit in there? So, so this is where the wing is. You wanna come in and it's gonna be barreling out. So erase in there a little bit. And now we're gonna do parallel lines. So it looks like this is like the front window. And then he has one bubble and then he's gonna have another bubble. And the pilot is sitting inside of there. I'm gonna double, double do that. So inside there, we got the little pilot. So I'm just gonna put a little circle in there for his head. He's got a little helmet and stuff on. And then we can just put a little body. Like, woohoo! he's going. He's a going. Put a line there. Okay, he's good to go. Now let's put the detail on this wing. So we're gonna make this wing come up. Do you see how it like arched up? There you go. Good job. And we're going to be putting the circles on those wings. So they don't look like exact circles. They're like ovals. So we have one oval and then we're going to have two ovals. Same thing on this side. 
let's do one oval. And then we've got another oval. What else did I learn about the Spitfire? It was the only British fighter plane to be in continuous production throughout war. That means they were always building it. They just high demand. They were good planes. And okay, so now we're gonna put a line right, see off the end here? We're gonna make a line here. And then let's make a line down here. And then we'll make a line going through, jump over that circle and bring it down. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. So jump over the circle and keep it going. And then we're gonna be putting in these little flappers. Like a fly. Let's do a flapper thing right here. Super job. And we're just cranking this puppy along. So now we're gonna put here, it looks like, what do I say that would look like? An inchworm. <laughs> a little long inchworm. And we're gonna put lines in there. Bloop, 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 bloop. Excellent job. All right, it's got its underbelly here. So it's like a little rectangle down there. And then of course we've got this is the, this is the weapons here. I'm assuming this is the weapons. Let's do the same thing on this side. Perfect job. All right, and then I just put some like little poofy clouds, but I'm not gonna sharpie this, just to make it look like it's up in the clouds. Oh, we've got these little pieces here too. Little worms. So I'm put the detail of all of the, the camouflage marking when I color it. So I'm gonna get my Sharpie and Sharpie. All right, so I Sharpied it around once and I realized when I did this one, I did the very finely fine Sharpie. It's a, it's an ultra fine Sharpie, but I didn't realize that's what I used till I started. And then I used just the fine Sharpie. But now I'm gonna go around the outside one more time to give it the extra thickness, so. Okay, I double sharpied it, and now I'm going to erase my pencil marks. All right, it is color, color time. So what I am going to start with is the orange, which is going to be inside uh, circles. What else do we know? Uh, ooh, the name Spitfire was taken from an old English word meaning someone of strong or fiery character. That is totally appropriate. And now when we call a person Spitfire, like my second daughter, we used to call her Firecracker or Spitfire or things like that because she is, she's got a explosively awesome, wowie personality. It's kind of like, whoa. Probably as she's getting older, it's mellowing out, but when she was little, she had red hair and she was a little spit by a little firecracker. Okay, and then now on the inside here, the only thing you have to do with this blue now is um, go around the, in the sky if you want, but we're not gonna do that right now, okay? Next thing up is red, which there's only one red dot and that's right here and that is it. Bam, done with red. Yellow, that's a pretty easy one too. So we have yellow right up here, along here. There's a little strip of yellow. A little bit on the underbelly. Right here, a little bit on there. And I'll just put a touch in the window up here. And maybe a little bit on the back. And then we are done with yellow. Bye-bye. <gasps> next up, we have, what's up next? We have 
green. And I used the jade green, looks more army-ish. So we're gonna make a stripe here, a little strip here. And then now you wanna color that in. So we're trying to make it look like it's camo, a little camouflage. So you can't tell what it is, okay? So back here, let's do another one. And if you've seen, I've seen lots of different kind of camo. I've seen the greens, lots of different green camo, which would be great for like deep jungles. I've seen camo, cam, camo that looks more like a safari, like a, it's the tans, tan colors. Okay, so now we're gonna make a line coming from here to here. And this one's gonna be like, wee! So you can color that in. Or I've seen them where they're just like black and gray. That's if like if you like at night ops or things like that. They have different kind of camos. But I think probably the most thing we think of is the green, the greens, green camo. All right, so now we're gonna do along here. And then we're gonna color this in. You actually can put the camo wherever you want. I'm just showing you where I put it. But there's, if you look at camo, especially if you ever seen them when they, they mark up their face, it's pretty awesome. So you can go like this, just go here, whoosh, and you color all that green. Um, they just get lots of paint, um, blacks and greens, and just smooth, like, streak up their face. It actually looks really cool. And there's no, of course they're not being all girly girly and making it look good. They're just like slapping it on. They just wanna be able to not be noticed. We are almost done. Look, we're just cranking this along here today. Oh, I, there was a little green in there, but that's okay. Do you want to make the underbelly a little bit darker? You can. So I might do that. I might put a little dark here too, because I did that right here. I just went in with gray, just press down a little harder. Okay, so I think what you need to do now is you can go in and color the background blue and you got this. Hope you like that bow.